Hi, I'm Michael Fry, and I did my pattern recognition final project on a comparison of fingerprint matching algorithms in MATLAB. The fingerprint is the most commonly used biometric due to the uniqueness of each individual's fingerprint. Biometrics refers to the identification of humans by a certain physical characteristic or trait. Fingerprint recognition was chosen as the subject of this project due to its many applications. Fingerprint recognition can be used in anything from forensic to unlocking one's laptop. There are two different types of fingerprint matching. The first type of matching is one-to-one -one matching, in which two fingerprints are selected to determine if there is a match. The second type of matching is one-to-all matching, which involves selecting the best fingerprint from a database of fingerprints to match the original image. There are many different methods that are used for fingerprint matching, including correlation-based matching, minutiae matching, feature-based matching, and neural network matching. When designing a fingerprint recognition system, the first thing that must be decided is which method of fingerprint matching is best. This project analyzes the four different types of fingerprint matching in order to determine which method of fingerprint matching provides the most accurate matching and the fastest matching. All MATLAB software used was personally developed to allow for consistency and knowledge and experience when creating the algorithms and software. Pre-processing is typically the first step in any form of fingerprint recognition system. Pre-processing is used to enhance the original image and filter out any undesired characteristics. The typical forms of fingerprint pre-processing include histogram equalization, image binarization, which is commonly known as thresholding, noise filtering, and ridge thinning. The first, um, <coughs> the first fingerprint matching algorithm implemented in MATLAB was correlation-based matching. For one-to-one -one correlation-based matching, pixel-by-pixel -pixel comparison of the two fingerprint images was performed. If the correlation between these two images was greater than 0.87, the images were determined to be a match. For one-to-all correlation-based matching, a similar pixel-by-pixel -pixel comparison of the original print with the, all of the fingerprints in the database was performed. However, rather than determining based on a certain correlation if each print was a match, the fingerprint in the database with the greatest correlation was determined to be the, great ma greatest ma the best match. The pros of correlation-based matching in are that it is, first of all, it is very easy to implement. Also, it provides fairly accurate results for one-to-one -one matching and fast results in both one-to-one -one and one-to-all matching. However, the cons of correlation-based matching are that the one doll matching is very inaccurate. To achieve more accurate results, you must use the original image as a sliding window by sliding the original image through each possible location in the second image to account for any kind of rolling issues that could have occurred when taking down the fingerprint. The second type of fingerprint recognition that was implemented was minutiae matching. Minutiae are the small details in a fingerprint that make the print unique. The most commonly used minutiae in matching are bifurcations and ridge endings. Bifurcations are the points in the fingerprint where one ridge will split into two. Ridge endings are just like they sound where the ridge would end in a fingerprint. There are commonly two different styles of minutiae matching that are performed in fingerprint recognition. The first extracts a, a, minutia, a window of minutiae from the first image and lines the window up in the second image to, to determine if a match occurs. This is used as a sliding window application because the original window is slid through each possible location in the second image to determine if it lines up perfectly with the minutiae in the second image. The other style of minutiae matching extracts individual unique minutiae from the first image and determines if they match up perfectly in the second image. The implementation used in this project was the sliding window application with a 32 by 32 block of minutiae. The first step in the one-to-one -one matching involved extracting a 32 by 32 block of minutiae from the first image. This block was then slid through each possible location in the second image to determine if at any point there was better than a 98.7% match. If this exceeded 98.7% matching, then the fingerprints were said to match. For one-to-all matching, the same 32 by 32 block was extracted from the first image. However, in this case, it was, slid, it was slid through each of the entire set of images in the database to determine which image provided the best match for the extracted block. 
The pros of minutiae matching are that the easy that the sliding window version of it is very easy to implement. Also, the individual if you were to use the individual minutiae matching, it is very accurate. The cons of this type of fingerprint recognition are that the sliding window version is often very inaccurate in both the one-to-one -one and the one-to-all forms of matching. Also, it is very slow since it attempts to match hundreds of times within the second image, and in the case of one-to-all matching, thousands of different times. The con of the other implementation of minutiae matching is that it is very complex to uh, develop in software, while it may seem easy on paper. The third type of fingerprint recognition performed was feature-based matching. There are many different types of feature-based matching because a feature could be any characteristic of a fingerprint other than analyzing the single minutiae themselves. The most commonly performed types of feature-based matching involve region of interest comparison, minutiae density, and the Euclidean distance between ridges. Region of interest comparison involves determining the region of the fingerprint image where the most where the most minutiae occur and analyzing where those two areas line up in the two images. Similarly, minutiae density determines in that region of interest the number of minutiae occur that occur per given area. Then the density of the two images is compared to determine if it is a match. The Euclidean distance between ridges involves measuring the distance between two ridges in a fingerprint and determining if these two distances line up between the prints. The implementation used in this project determined was based on the Euclidean distance between ridges in the fingerprint. To begin, two Gabber filters were used to perform edge detection in the, in the fingerprint, and it split this fingerprint into two separate images. The first image contained all of the vertical ridges, and the second image contained all of the horizontal ridges. This was performed as part of the pre-processing for the feature-based matching algorithm. With these two images obtained, the average vertical distance between the horizontal ridges was then calculated, as well as the average horizontal distance between vertical ridges. One to all matching, one to one, to one matching was performed by determining if the average difference between the pixels and the, the if the average difference between the average distances. One to one matching was performed by determining if the difference between the average vertical and horizontal distances between ridges differed by less than 1.33 pixels in the two images. If this occurred, then the fingerprints were said to match. In one-to-all matching, the magnitude of this average vertical and horizontal distances between ridges were computed for each of the images in the database. With this magnitude, the magnitude of the original image was then compared and the closest matching average magnitude distance between ridges was said to be the best match. The pros of the feature-based matching are that it performs very thorough pre-processing of the images. However, the cons are that it is somewhat slow in determining both one-to-one -one and one-to-all matches. Also, it is quite inaccurate because most fingerprints share fairly similar distance between ridges, since the fingerprint is so small and the ridges are packed so closely together. For this reason, many of the fingerprints have very similar average distances between ridges. The final method of fingerprint, met of fingerprint matching performed was neural network matching. Neural, network is a, neural networks are a machine learning technique that are often used in pattern recognition. They simulate the way that the neural networks in the brain learn. There are two stages in neural networks, training and testing. In training, the neural network is trained on a set of input data that allow the neural network to learn. Many parameters affect the quality of the training, including the training algorithm, the activation function, and the learning rate. Testing, on the other hand, is when the neural network is used to run inputs through the network. Neurons in the output layer determine which output the input corresponds to. The implementation of the neural network for this fingerprint matching algorithm involved a four-layer network. The first layer of the network, which is the input layer, had 262,144 neurons, representing each of the 512 by 512 pixels in the image. The next layer was a hidden layer involving 254 neurons. The third layer, another, which was another hidden layer, had 125 neurons, and the final output layer had 10 neurons. This 10 neurons was decided be because the fingerprint database used had 
10 different fingerprint images with eight copies of each, hence 10 different possible outputs. The standard backpropagation algorithm was used as the training algorithm for a neural network. The hyperbolic tangent function was used as the activation function for each of the layers, and a learning rate of 0.01 was used. The neural network was trained to either 1000 epochs or until validation stopped the training. Validation would stop the training in the event that when all of the test cases were passed through the neural network and proved to be accurate matches, it was said to be well trained. One-to-one -one testing was slightly different than one-to-one -one testing on the other networks than on the other algorithms. In this case, <clears throat> an input was run through the network and each of the weights was checked to the output neurons. If the weight of an output neuron was greater than 0.1, the corresponding fingerprint was said to be a match. This form of one-to-one -one testing would actually perform 10 one-to-one -one tests all at once, since it would compare one input to 10 different outputs and, provide, and tell if each was a possible match. One-to-all testing is the actual form of matching that neural networks are made for. In one-to-all testing, an input is run through the network and the weights of the output neurons are checked. The output neuron with the greatest weight corresponds to the best matching input. Pros of the neural network matching is that it is very accurate and it provides fast times to test the data. In addition, it handles one-to-one -one and one-to-all matching very well. Cons of the neural network is that it often requires lengthy training times. In addition, it requires large amounts of training data to create, ac to create an accurate network. A performance evaluation of these four types of training algorithms was performed based on four separate tests. The four tests included the time required for one-to-one -one matching, the time required for one-to-all matching, the accuracy of one-to-one -one matching, and the accuracy of one-to-all matching. The most accurate fingerprint matching algorithm with the fastest time to test is said to be the best performing algorithm. The results of one-to-one -one testing are as follows. For the time test, correlation-based matching took 0 0.03946 seconds, minutiae matching took just under 17 seconds, Feature-based matching took 1.2545 seconds, and neural network matching took 0 0.00719 seconds. From this, it can be seen that for one-to-one -one matching, neural network matching was the fastest. The accuracy of one-to-one -one matching proved that the correlation-based matching was just over 75% accurate, minutiae matching was a sad 33% accurate, Feature-based matching was 56.25% accurate, and neural network matching was 76.25% accurate. Once again, the neural network algorithm performed the best for accuracy of one-to-one -one testing. In one-to-all testing, the time required to test shows that minutiae matching took an extreme amount with 169 seconds, while the neural network matching took 0 0.06425 seconds showing that still the uh, neural network algorithm is the prime algorithm used for fingerprint matching. For the accuracy of one-to-all testing, correlation-based matching was at 23.75%, minutiae matching was at 29%, feature-based matching was at 23.75%, and neural network matching was still the clear winner with 58.75% accuracy. The results show that the best performing algorithm for each of the conditions was the neural network matching algorithm. It provided the fastest times for both forms of testing and the most accurate for both forms. However, the neural network times do not take into account the time required to train. This time required to train can range from a few minutes to hours or even possibly days in the case of a huge network with a lot of training data. The worst performing algorithm based on timing was seen to be minutiae matching. For one-to-one -one matching accuracy, the worst algorithm was also minutiae matching. For one-to-all matching accuracy, there was a tie between correlation-based and feature-based matching as the worst performing. In conclusion, a comparison of the four most commonly used methods of fingerprint recognition were performed in MATLAB. It was determined which was the best performing algorithm for fingerprint matching, both by accuracy and time required to test. Neural networks were found to be the most accurate and fastest method of fingerprint matching.